It's do or die now. You feel me? Like we gladiators. Like you got your sword. You sleeping on me, homie. He's sleeping on me. Oh, you, you, what you think? You have to. You know, it's do or die now. You feel me? We're gladiators out here, swords ready. If you think I'm just some debut fighter for Canelo Alvarez to walk over, you're sleeping on me, homie. This is the fourth time Canelo would be fighting a Puerto Rican, and it looks like the fiercest one ever. I respect my opponents, but when they talk, I respond. As they face off one more time, Edgar Berlanga doesn't look phased or intimidated by the greatness and skill of his opponent. His confidence is making his naysayers condemn him even more. But how do you defeat the legendary Canelo Alvarez without confidence? I've got my sword, just like in the gladiator days. You feel me? This is where we fight. It's war, and either you're going to cut my neck off, or I'm going to cut yours. That's how it is. And that's a fact. Edgar Berlanga stared down Canelo like he would any other fighter. This is our main event on September 14th, Canelo Alvarez vs. Berlanga. The fact that Canelo Alvarez has almost three times the number of fights as Berlanga isn't a threat to him. Instead, it's turned all his disadvantages into motivation. This is where we fight. It's war, and either you're going to cut my neck off, or I'm going to cut yours. But how many times have we seen fighters come in with this mentality against Canelo, only to get a loss in the end? This fight represents more than just the two men in the ring. Edgar Berlanga stands on behalf of over 3 million Puerto Ricans, hoping to see the end of a nation bigger and greater than them. Meanwhile, over 127 million Mexicans are represented by the great Saul Canelo Alvarez. But Edgar Berlanga isn't scared, he's not intimidated. You think you have the IQ of Floyd Mayweather? Canelo might have experience, but that doesn't mean Berlanga is backing down. He's got his sword ready for battle. The halo around Edgar Berlanga's head comes from the fact that he holds the world record for the most fights with first round knockouts, achieving this in the first 16 fights of his career. But where is that power now? Sadly, that glory seems to be fading. He has only one knockout win in his last six fights. Still, he's promised Canelo Alvarez the first knockout of his career in round six. Berlunga may look bigger in size, but Canelo is bigger in experience, intelligence, skill, and technique. The Puerto Rican has even admitted that he hasn't really fought a good fighter throughout his career, let alone a great fighter of Canelo Alvarez's caliber. Many see this as a step too far for Berlanga, but that's the best part the underdog story. Many boxing professionals have trolled Canelo Alvarez for choosing easy opponents like Jaime Munguia and Berlanga instead of more worthy contenders like David Morrell and David Bevides. But Berlanga embraces the doubt, the hate. He's ready to prove them wrong. For some reason, Berlanga believes this is his time and he doesn't look like he'll misuse the opportunity. However, Canelo isn't seeing Berlanga as anything more than another Munguia, the young Mexican he defeated by unanimous decision in May. This time, Canelo has even promised Berlanga a knockout. As Alvarez stood in front of all the cameras, looking sideways at Berlanga, he said, You're going to feel so much pain. You hit like my son, so take it easy. You're getting the beating of a lifetime soon, the two would stand and trade words, held back by security. The champion specified his intent not to lay hands on Berlanga. Why? Alvarez said. I don't want to mess you up right now because your money is gone, so take it easy. This level requires intelligence and IQ. We're not going to end up like that. But Berlanga reiterated his determination and resolve to take the throne. The Chosen One announced, it might take your place, Puerto Rico. Canelo responded when asked why it wouldn't be Benavidez or Crawford in the opposite corner on September 14th. Mexico versus Puerto Rico is always a good fight. It's a good fight for the people. I'm going to bring my best. I never overlook my opponents. I know Edgar Berlanga. He's strong, but at the end of the day, he has a big challenge in front of him. It's going to be a great fight. He's going to show something different and the people are going to enjoy this fight. I'm going to put on a great fight as always. I'm just happy I love boxing. I love what I do, and I'm happy to be here. It's going to be a really good night for boxing. I guarantee that.
This altercation mirrored what Alvarez had told PPV to come over there. I got knocked out cold. The Guadalajara native carried more motivation, zeal, and passion during the presser as he had told PPV.com, Mexico versus Puerto Rico motivates me even more. It seems he's not the only one. When the two took their seats and answered the fans' questions, Berlanga assured everyone that he was up for the task. The Brooklyn native pointed out that Alvarez had fought everybody, including the big names. The super middleweight champion's list of legendary opponents included Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Gennady Golovkin. Alvarez's varied advantages of size and speed at different career stages had worked for him, but Berlanga theorized that their bout would be different. He added, what makes it different about this fight is not just physical, it's about IQ and intelligence, and that's what's going to make the difference on September 14th. But does Berlanga have the skills and ring IQ to outwit Alvarez? No one is sure, but after weighing in their resumes, the fans will find out soon enough. Miguel Cotto's rivalry with Antonio Margarito is the most memorable between a Mexican and a Puerto Rican in the modern era. But for all that, the 27-year-old Berlanga has proved entertaining. He is a considerably less proven fighter, something Alvarez did little to contest. Berlanga, having gone the distance in five straight fights, stopped Irishman Pedreg McCrory in Orlando in February. The 27-year-old said he'd been dreaming of a fight like this and that he manifested getting the Canelo bout. They're going to still buy the pay-per-view. They're still going to talk. You know, Floyd became Floyd because he had so many people that hated him. A lot of people are talking asterisks, 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 saying I'm fighting cab drivers, now I'm fighting a legend. They say I'm going to get knocked the F asterisks, asterisks, asterisks out. So I just put my head down, keep working, stay humble, and just turn up. Night for sure, 100%. There's a lot of doubt out there, a lot of hate, Berlanga said. But I've been facing adversity, facing hate all my life. This is my opportunity to become a great champion, but also to be legendary in the sport of boxing. It's going to be something amazing Puerto Rico versus Mexico. That's the biggest rivalry in boxing. Promoter Eddie Hearn signed Berlanga 13 months ago and promised he would deliver him Canelo. The Mexican's recent marriage to PBC, which now spans three consecutive contests, made that less likely, but the opposing teams managed to get the deal done. Hearn called the Canelo fight the lottery ticket of boxing. This isn't just about winning the lottery, it's about cashing in the ticket, and Edgar Berlanga is here only to win, said Hearn. The Canelo Alvarez fight weeks away, and this time we come as the opponent. Many opponents we've had have faced him in the past, Billy Joe Saunders, Callum Smith, John Ryder, Rocky Fielding. This kid has big set of balls and will put everything on the line on September 14th. I know Canelo Alvarez wants real fights guys that will come to him to win. This guy won't dance around the ring. He won't try to survive for 12 rounds. He will come for a firefight with Canelo Alvarez. And yes, it is Puerto Rico versus Mexico, but it's deeper than that. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for Edgar and his father. He's dedicated his life to the sport, and I promise you he will give every inch of his soul in Las Vegas. This guy is here to dethrone the king. Berlanga's influential manager, Keith Connolly, added, A shot at the great Canelo Alvarez looked more difficult as things moved on, but as always, it's the lottery ticket of boxing to land. Edgar's got bombs in his hands, and I expect him to shock the world on September 14. Edgar Berlanga had a snappy response to anyone questioning why he got the assignment to face Canelo Alvarez on September 14, and why the more decorated David Benavidez and the undefeated powerhouse David Morel did not. Benavidez doesn't sell. Morel doesn't sell. They don't have